All right, so the first thing we do is draw a picture. picture. We draw a picture of the, of the situation. So in this problem, we're told we have this person on a journey, so going from one city to another. So we'll go, you know, for the first part of the journey, kind of draw like a timeline. So we're told that, um, hey, so speed, notice they're using the word speed, and speed and velocity are oftentimes used interchangeably. Um, here they don't specify a direction, so it makes sense that they use the word speed. I'm just going to write V for velocity because, I don't know, I mean, I guess I could go S for speed, but we'll just use the, uh, the velocity equation. So the velocity for the first part of the journey is 80 kilometers per hour, and the time for the first part of the journey is 30 minutes. Now, do we want to use minutes or hours? Hours. hours. So 30, 30 minutes is 0.5 hours. Okay? And then as far as the, uh, the distance or, you know, the displacement for this first part, it's a question mark. All right, second part of the journey, the person travels with a velocity of 100 kilometers per hour for a time of 12 minutes. And 12 minutes is the same as 0.2 hours. And then the displacement or distance is a, a question mark. If the person's going in a straight line, I'm just making the assumption that these cities are in a, you know, if you drew a line through these cities, it would give you a straight line, which is not a very realistic thing, but it works for the problem. So in that case, I mean, as long as there's no change of direction, distance and displacement are the same. All right, then the last part of the journey, the person travels at 40 kilometers per hour for a time of 45 minutes, which is 0.75 hours. Okay, now, reading this question, in my opinion, question A and question B should be in reverse order because, okay. Uh, how many of you realize this? Like you, you, can't get, you can't get question B without first, wait, no, you can't get question A without first doing B. So really it should be B then A. So let's do B first. B wants the distance between the initial and the final cities along the route. So basically we want the total distance traveled by this car, okay? Can we do this in one calculation or does it have to be multiple? Multiple. What we have to do is find, oops, we gotta find uh, this displacement, that displacement, and that displacement. All right, so what's the equation we're gonna use to find those displacements? Velocity is equal to displacement over time. So what's displacement equal to? Velocity, velocity multiplied by time. So I'll do this first one here. So velocity is uh, 80 kilometers per hour for a time of 0.5 hours. The hours cancel and we get a displacement of 40 kilometers. So this, this displacement up here is 40 kilometers. And then we do the same thing here, and we get 20 kilometers. And then we do the same thing here, and we get 30 kilometers. So what was the total distance traveled by this car? 90. You add, you add the three up, and the answer to part B is 90 kilometers. Just add those three. Okay, now part A. Determine the average speed for the trip. So again, speed and velocity, the only time they're different is if there's a change of direction. Um, you know, but even if this journey, even if this journey was like, whoa, you know, there's the first city, and then like that, like there's the next city. You know, we're dealing here with distance, right? These are distances. Okay, so how do we calculate the average speed uh, for the trip? Oh, and you know what? I forgot to put something down. What does this person do? Takes a rest stop right here. Spends 15 minutes 
eating lunch and buying gas. So let's put that down as our data. So it, as a part of this, we, we also have a time of rest equal to 15 minutes, which is 0.25 hours. All right, so solving A. The velocity for the whole trip is going to be displacement over time total. I'll put time total. Okay, so our displacement was 90 kilometers. And then the total time, you just add all the times up. And the, when you do that, you get 1.7 hours. When you take, you know, 0 0.25 hours plus 0.75 plus 0.2 plus 0.5, you get 1.7. So this gives us an average velocity of 52.9 kilometers per hour.